lookout towers and aerial patrols led to the detection of fires while they were still small. But in some cases, it might take days to reach a remote lake. By 1936, fire agencies used planes to parachute supplies to lookout towers and firefighters. The success of this technique led to the idea of dropping the firefighters themselves. In 1939, the U.S. Forest Service conducted jumping experiments near Winthrop, Washington. Men wearing special protective clothing safely made 58 jumps onto a variety of terrain from open meadows to dense forest. Parachuted equipment and supplies followed to form a well-equipped fire control unit in record time. On July 12th of the next year, the first operational jump took place. Two men dropped into Idaho's Nez Perce National Forest to successfully suppress a small blaze. The Forest Service established a parachute training center in Missoula, Montana, which included rigorous physical conditioning as well as instruction in jumping techniques. In the past, firefighters had borrowed heavily from military experience, but in this case, the tables were turned. The smoke jumpers, as they were called, were so successful that the Army paratrooper program was patterned on the same ideas and techniques. The 555th Paratrooper Battalion was actually trained at the Missoula base at the beginning of World War II.